I've been drinking out of this Tommy on Broadway coffee cup for some time. Years. And this week, look at the stains on it. Anyhow, Pete Townsend had adapted his concept album, Tommy, for the Broadway stage. And 29 years ago last night at the Tony Awards, he was rewarded for his efforts. These are news clips reporting that event. 29 years ago today. It was the Who's Tommy, which won five Tonys, including one for Pete Townsend as the show's composer. As a composer, one always wants music to live on and be eternal, and this is a part of that. But backstage, Cheetah Rivera was generation as seen in the popular musical, Tommy. The younger generation held its own. Tommy picked up five awards. The Who's lead guitarist, Pete Townsend, shared the award for best score with composer John Kander and lyricist Fred Ebb of Spider Woman. Broadway has to have new ideas. It has to have new blood. It has to have new, uh, not just in the chorus line and, and not just among writers. The ceremony attracted the usual amount of glitz. I've been dressed since... This is really so appropriate that we're calling it groundbreaking today. That's what's happening here. We're breaking ground. For something, rock and roll is an old, 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 established, cranky art form now. You know, we've been around for... I mean, Chuck, I don't know whether Chuck knows who the... I mean, Chuck, you know, he's my absolute idol, you know, he's here, you know, people should be throwing themselves at his feet like he was the emperor of Japan, you know, nobody's taking much notice. We're a confused little race. We have to get this thing together. This place is important. This place is, this, this is a great day, I think, for this. Ground, we're, we're breaking ground. It's fun. I'm happy about it. What do you remember most about those first tours through Cleveland when you came into the heart of the, the United States? Well, I'll always remember because I wrote a song about it. It was actually a song called Sheraton Gibson. I wrote in another hotel somewhere but uh, the Belkin brothers as they then were promoters were then managing a band called James Gang uh, Joe Walsh's band they became very big and, it, and two or three times when we came back through Cleveland we would go to uh, uh, Mike Belkin's home have barbecues play tennis get wrecked <laughs> and uh, and I wrote a song about it so I always remember it and I always have great affection for it it's always been a special place for me they say the legendary Peter Townsend. Do you feel legendary? Uh, well, the more I do this kind of thing, yeah, I suppose I do start to, because I'm not quite sure who I am. The ticket in town was definitely at the Gershwin Theater last night, where Kiss of the Spider Woman stole the show, but Tommy gave it a run for its money. It's Ballyhoo. It's part of show business. You look fabulous, babe. Thank you. The Tony excitement began outside the Gershwin Theater in New York, as this year's anxious nominees proudly paraded in. Well, at the moment, I'm like having a hard time seeing, hearing, feeling, talking, anything, so. How appropriate. Yes, isn't it? Oh, they say that you're a shoo-in tonight. You're going to get it. What do you think? Every Take time the they say shoo-in, put, put, put. <laughs> and the Tony Award for Best Play goes to Angels in America, Millennium Appropriate. The emotional three-and-a-half-hour drama about AIDS and how society deals with it won four Tonys last night, including top honors for Best Play, Best Director, Best hey, Featured yeah. Actor, Steven Spinella. Lesion number one, look at the wine-dark kiss of the angel of death. <laughs> I'm a lesionaire. And Best Before Performance by a Leading Actor, going to the show's Ron Liebman, who plays the late attorney Roy Cohn. Come on! and I will proceed systematically to destroy your reputation and your practice and your career in New York State, Henry. Home run first time out, not bad. <laughs> yes, a, a newcomer to the business. You must be gorgeous. We were just talking about you. And how I got my name. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Now, for the best performance by a leading actress in a play, the Tony went to Madeline Kahn for her role as gorgeous in Wendy Wasserstein's highly praised comedy, The Sisters Rosenzweig. You know, I feel strangely calm and relieved. I really sure, because you won. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Sooner or later, you bathe in success. And now, this year, it was the battle of the two big musicals with Kiss of the Spider Woman and Tommy providing the suspense. Kiss of the Spider Woman, the musical.
powerful production about two Latin American prisoners and their jailhouse fantasies won seven Tonys last night, including Best Musical. The show's Brent Carver took the honors for Best Actor. By dressing them up, from earrings down to their boots. And 60-year-old Cheetah Rivera, a Broadway veteran, made a triumphant return after severely breaking her leg a few years ago. Last night, she took home the Tony for Best Actress. But it's great to now be standing on two good legs and being able to do what I really love to do. It's swell. Tommy, can you hear me? Can you feel me near you? Now, the much-talked-about sizzling hit, The Who's Rock Opera Tommy, did win five Tonys last night, including Best Director. Now, besides celebrating its centennial, this is also a very special year for Broadway because the new hits are definitely challenging the old Broadway establishment, bringing a new generation to the Great White Way. What's different is the fact that we're attracting a, maybe a different type of audience. You know, some of those Rottweilers that normally show up at, uh, at uh, stadium concerts are, are appearing in the theatres. That can only be healthy for Broadway. While I enjoy classic traditional Broadway theater. It's just great to see uh, new blood get an opportunity. And Broadway needed it, and it got it this year. A good year, a oh, creative year on Broadway. great shows, unbelievable. Thanks, Jill. Okay. We're back with more in a moment, right after this. Thanks for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. And there's further subscription options listed below.